The fight to resume youth sports in California continues and joining us now with the latest update on the Let Them Play CA initiative is head football coach Tory Pines High School head football coach Ron Gladnick. Coach, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Nice to see you, too. I know it's a big day, uh, and so uh, you have another virtual press conference taking place today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, we're, um, we were originally scheduled at the Capitol, but we've been very cautious. We're, we're not a political movement. We're a kid movement, and we felt it was getting a little too political, so we pulled out of that, reorganized, and we're having a virtual event today. We understand somewhere between... 125 and 175 media outlets around the state are going to participate. And we're really going to focus on, uh, we're going to have some student athletes there to share their story, uh, really review the social inequity issues that we're facing in a lot of our communities, and, and basically continue to bring the message that it's safe for kids in California to play youth sports. And one of the biggest changes I noticed, at least for me, that stood out was that uh, San Diego District Attorney Summer Stefan is going to be joining you. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, her, her perspective in this? Yeah, I mean, Summer's amazing. We were on a Zoom call with her yesterday. And, you know, she's like so many other good people. She, back in September, she wrote a seven page letter to the governor highlighting many statistics related to children that most people don't even think about. You know, online pedophilia, horrible, horrible things. And what's happening as a result of kids not being able to get outside, kids not being, you know, in school, whatever the circumstances. And uh, she has rewritten another letter and uh, updated those statistics. And she basically reached out and said, I, I just can't, like, she's like us. I just can't sit by any longer and look at kids and not do everything I can to help. And I think you'll find her story today to be very compelling. I don't know if you if you had a chance to see our earlier interview with Coach Marlon Gardnera from Scripps Ranch t uh, talking about the lawsuit uh, that, that he filed yesterday, uh, basically calling out the governor, county officials, uh, for the inequities of, of not letting high school students play sports, but yet we're seeing uh, professional athletes and we're seeing college students uh, here, uh, you know, even in San Diego schools, taking part in uh, organized sports. Can, can you talk about why you think uh, th there's a difference there for, for the government in allowing uh, those activities, sports activities, to take place and not letting high school sports take place? Well, I think um, the big problem as it relates to kids is they have no voice, right? They have no lobbyists. They have no special interests. They have no, no one to represent them. So it's been easy to kind of put them on the side. And that's the reality of, of what has happened. And I think one of the things, you know, not just coaches or kids, you know, if you look at California citizens, I think we all as citizens, there's so many things that just don't make any sense. And, you know, we've done, I think, a very good job of putting science and data. We've done what our politicians have told us to do, which is follow the science. You know, I feel like the difference now is we've actually put the science together and delivered it to our political officials while they continue to say, follow the science without actually presenting any science. So, you know, I, I think that's the disparity across our culture that people are having a, a greater and greater hard time with in terms of this doesn't make any sense. And the, the situation with youth sports in California simply does not make sense. Dr. Galley can't make it make sense. The governor can't make it make sense. And as a result, there's this, you know, groundswell of support because people are just so frustrated at this point. Yeah, understood. Well, this uh, virtual press conference is going to be taking place at 11 a.m. today, and we, of course, will have an update on the later editions of the KUSI News. But Coach Ron Gladnick from Torrey Pines, thank you so much, as always, for, for joining us and being a voice for those kids. Well, you're doing so much for kids. Thank you.